Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Midland Community Stadium for tonight's homecoming game, the Dow High Chargers hosting the Saginaw High Trojans. This is Dave Marsh bringing you the action along with the old ball coach, Frank Aldemore. And uh, coach, you've been uh, through many uh, homecoming days and uh, it's just a special vibe here well, at the there stadium. There always is. I mean, there's excitement in the school. You're getting ready for the the game, the, the homecoming dance, the parades. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful week, weekend. And uh, I think we're going to have a good game tonight, hopefully. Yep, ho hopefully we've got a great crowd on hand and a beautiful night for football. And we're going to send it on down for the national anthem. job by the Dow High Marching Band. We were uh, commenting before the broadcast on what a <laughs> how blessed Midland is to have marching bands like uh, you just witnessed on the field there. And uh, as we uh, get ready for kickoff, Coach, uh, what do you see It's today's uh, keys of the game? Well, Dave, you know, we, we had a bad week last week against Saginaw Heritage, so the first thing for Dow is to find return. You know, when you have bad games and you get beat, you need to find your mojo. You have to go back to the basics, figure out what, what works, what doesn't work, who's working, who's not working. And so you find your mojo. When they play Saginaw High, anytime you play Saginaw High, you're talking about shutting down any big play. Make them drive the field. And then, of course, in this case, you have solid special teams, and that is your kickoff and your punt return because those are the two that have against a team like Saginaw High, you're going to get a lot of work on. Now, for Saginaw High, they got to have positive yardage. Right now, their, their yardage is minus 47 for the season. So that's what they're working on. You know, again, they need to get positive yards. They need to have an aggressive defense that shuts Dow down. And finally, they need to reduce their turnovers and penalties. Yeah, coming into tonight's action, the Chargers are two and three overall, two and one in the Saginaw Valley League. And I mentioned they uh, lost at Heritage last week, and so we'll be trying to rebound from that defeat. Saginaw High, meanwhile, 0 and five on the year, and uh, they've uh, really struggled, to say the least. Have not scored yet this season, given up 208 points on the year. <coughs> And as you mentioned, negative uh, 47 yard rushing. And so they're uh, hoping for uh, better results uh, today against the Chargers. Meanwhile, the Chargers will receive to start this game. They're gonna look to get on offense and make something happen right away. Chargers led by uh, senior quarterback Shane Jude, who's had a terrific season really, 60% completion percentage, 743 yards through the air. He's also thrown for nine touchdowns and just three interceptions. We are about to get underway here. The Trojans squib kick it, knocked down at the 28, and it was returned out by Jack Erickson out to the, close to the 40, I call it the 38 yard line. Jackson on on the return. Now we're going to have an opportunity to see what Dow's going to come out and do. Uh, 
two days. Also the leading rusher, 70 carries, 469 yards. Uh, Evan R Rivera is the next leading rusher with 335. And Evan Mativa, number 34, he's a load, 117 yards and three scores. Jude back to pass, rolls to his right, surveys. He's got time, dumps it off, and uh, threw it a little bit short to Mativa, who was wide open. Well, Dow had all three receivers wide open on that play, so he had his choice. That's too bad. That was a yep. good, good play call and a good situation for them. Yeah, Mativa would have had some, uh, once he gets uh, headed north and south, he is a load. And he's not pretty to tackle in the open field, <laughs> I've got to tell you. Pitch right. Got room to run. Cuts up. Cuts back to the middle. Still on his feet. And uh, he's going to go the distance. Rivera all the way for a 62-yard touchdown on the second play of the game. Big play the Chargers were looking for and certainly not the start that the Trojans were hoping for. Well, that's too bad for the Trojans, but that was a great pitch. Yep. Good read by the quarterback. We're gonna do it when we do the replay, we'll do some little work and show you some things that happen. Hayden Hetherington, the lefty kicker for the point after. up and it's good Hetherington with the point after and just like that the Chargers take a 7 nothing lead okay so here we the situation Jude's going to get his snap and he's going to come down the line and we're going to get a pitch out here but the most important thing we want to see in the game is what happens in the cutback so there's the pitch but watch the cutback right there and then we're going to see a turn and here comes a little burst of speed which is perfect. So it really went untouched. It was a nice job by Jude on the pitch. He uh, waited for the defensive end to commit to the quarterback. And then once he got the pitch, plenty of room to run uh, for Rivera. And so just 25 seconds into the game, Chargers are up 7 nothing. I'm good. And so, also good job blocking by the, the offensive line, right tackle, number 65, Aiden Valgiorno. Left tackle, Merrick Valgiorno, his brother, number 71. Left guard, Brady O'Keefe, number 73. And right guard, Charlie Hunkins, number 79. Six five center three, three yeah, ten. He, yeah, he's, he's, a, big, he's, he's a, a load. Chargers kick off, fielded at the fourteen. A little room to run. Runs out of bounds after a nice pickup. That was Dylan Moore on the return, just a tenth grader. Good, Trojans good field play. position yeah. for Saginaw. Start at their own 34-yard line. Also, the offensive line, I mentioned Adam Barber, number 50. He's the center for the Chargers. And the defensive line is Mativa, number 34. Aiden Belgiorno is number 65. Caleb Brunsky, number 17, also starting. And timeout called by the Trojans. Coach Derek Wyatt didn't like something about the lineup there. Well, their alignment was, was messed up. And so he called. Now, I see you hate to call timeouts on the first play when you already have it set when you go out onto the right. field. That's a sad state of affairs. Probably might not be a bad timeout if it was if they were messed up because they're already down seven nothing and say like, well, guys we gotta we gotta get something positive here and if the lineup wasn't right it was gonna be a disaster. It's 
Starting at linebacker for uh, the Chargers. Um, 51 is Gage Kroll. 71, Bel uh, Merrick Belgiorno is, is one of the linebackers. Caleb Studebaker, number 11. Pass, a little bubble screen. Oh, that was read out. Mativa with the big stick. Not, See, nowhere to run for. This, this is the same thing that Anderson. happened to Saginaw last week uh, against Midland. They're just too slow. The, the whole play is too slow developing. The quarterback too slow to get it out of his hands. That's a bubble screen. Yeah. You got to get it. Now. It's got to happen fast. You can't allow your inside. The, the person that made the tackle, Mativa, is playing inside tackle, and he yeah. made he made the play. So that tells you what what's happening. Trayvon Laster, number nine, is the quarterback. Second and ten. Little pitch. No, we're fine, trying to get on the on the right side, and nicely done. A nice tackle by Gage Kroll. Looked like he was going to have some room to run, and if he had gotten the edge, he may have gotten the first down, but Crow with a big tackle. Let me say, Gage Crow is a, is a big fellow. He's a good size, six foot four, six foot five outside linebacker. And I thought last week against Saginaw Heritage in the second half, he, he stood like a man out there. He played as good as I've seen a Dow outside linebacker play. Third and 10 for the Trojans. surveying the field back to pass fires it's broken up nice job on the Dow secondary that's uh, number 40 Dawson Studebaker She's one of the linebackers and uh, that play had some potential but yes, a great did. job yes, by Studebaker. Did. Studebaker got in did a nice job now here we go we're gonna this is the first punt of the game so last week against uh, Midland again, poor, poor snaps, but a good kicker. I mean, when he did kick the ball, it was it was high and long. So he he has a good leg. Eli Azell is the punter for the Trojans. Blocked, picked up by Caleb Schultz, and he is going to be tackled at the one-yard line. Caleb Schultz storms in, blocks the punt, and just about takes it to pay dirt before he's hauled down at the one. Well, there's an example of, of, of two things that happened. Number one, the snap was slow, and number two, there, was no there were no blocking. <laughs> That's not a good combination that, for the That's called team. a lookout block. You turn around <laughs> and yell at the kicker to look out. All right. So, Again, we have this little situation where all these are going to come off the corner and the ball is going to dribble back. So it dribbles back. We're going to take a minute. And that's a Great tremendous elevation. Great elevation. leap. Yeah. Caleb Schultz. Caleb Schultz, 6'3", 175, and he was up Duncan style. Flag on the play. We'll see if that was, uh, we're going to call offsides on Saginaw. They jumped prematurely. Not a big penalty since they were already on about the half yard line. Jumped off again. Play. Can't See, get any closer to the goal well, line. This is <laughs> what I'm talking about. Needless, useless penalties that Saginaw has committed. By the way, this is the one part I, I do not like about the spread offense. I have the ball on the one yard line sneak. and I lose the quarterback yeah. sneak. Yeah. And into the end zone goes Rivera. Huge hole on the left side. That 
Uh, big Dow offensive line on the left side just uh, obliterated the defensive line he, and he walked he made in. A, he made a nice cut though. <laughs> yeah. He made a nice cut. Okay, so there you see the ceiling down and he made a nice cut into the hole. Nice job. Hetherington for the extra point again. Snap is good, the hold is good, and the kick is good. And the Chargers take a 14-0 lead with 9.39 remaining in the first quarter. It really couldn't be much of a worse start for the Trojans, or a better start for Dow. Better, good start for Dow. As I say, looking at getting back into your mojo, getting ready to flow of the game, doing the right things. That was a good, good call to put a punt block on. Uh, challenge them a little bit opening. I thought last week, uh, and I commented on this, that I thought Midland could have blocked every punt. Oh, yeah. Because the ball goes back so slow, and there's no blocking off the corners. Well, the other thing about when you say the mojo that you like is there's some big sticks by that Dow High defense yes. on that first... Uh, wasn't just that they stopped him, but they uh, really laid down some lumber. Head coach Jason Watkins leading his uh, team, trying to get even their record at three and three tonight and off to that great start. Hetherington will be doing the kickoff duties as well. He's a 5'10 junior. Squib kick, fielded at 31, drops, and it is recovered. Ball still loose. I think Dow has it. They fumbled the kickoff, really just needed to fall on the ball, and they turn it over. And they turned it over. Holy moly. Charger ball. This yeah. is so reminiscent of last week. The ball was kicked off on the second touchdown. The Saginaw High guy came up to catch it. It bounced off his chest right into the hands of the Midland High guy. So here's the kickoff again, and we're gonna see the inability right in here to field the ball. So one guy, there it is, he got screened, and didn't fall on it, and that's the end of it. So Jude back to pass, there he goes, and it's gonna be another Dow High touchdown, kind of their own bubble screen. And Jude finds Garrett Daniels, the senior, for a 32-yard touchdown. Garrett Daniels is Jude's favorite target. So now here we go again, nice easy bubble screen, comes back in here, you can see the, the, the blockers are out in front, Easy play. Fake to the left, throw to the right. It's a low snap. I'm gonna go for two instead, it's incomplete. The one thing that has not gone right for now was a low snap and Owen McCaffrey, the holder, had to um, go with the hot on that. Uh, couldn't quite handle the snap. And so he tried to find Caleb Brensky at, uh, for the two point conversion, just overthrew him. So it's pretty much the one thing that has not gone Dow's way so far. 20 to nothing with 9.27 to go in the first quarter. So Dow has scored on every offensive play. Every offensive play. What's that tell you? Right? Maybe, maybe they found their <laughs> mojo, but oh, poor Saginaw. You know. Three plays, three touchdowns. You think back years past when Saginaw had 16 Division one yeah. scholarship players on their team. Four men that made it into the league. Yeah, right. Oh, and they were men in high school. <laughs> That's right. That's for sure. Oh, wow. So now we'll kick it off once again. We knew that that was going to be the favorites coming in, and it was going to be tough for Saginaw. I didn't 
don't know if I quite saw it to be like this. Hetherington a short kickoff, fielded at the 23, caught this time. He's got room to run on the left side. And uh, finally run out of bounds is Dylan Moore. Be good field position. That short kickoff. Uh, with Sir, he's going to be at about the 41. So this is where, you know, yeah, not might has gone right for the Trojans. You just, from Dow's side, sometimes they go with the too easy, too early. You know yeah. where you can just lull yourself too secure, and if you give a big big play, a let well, Saginaw you know what Saginaw's going to do. They're going to start, they're going to throw the ball. That's what they're going to do. They fall behind this fast early, and now they have that, we don't, have anything to lose. Jamel Botterford is the running back. Back to pass. The ball is uh, might have been tipped. I'm not sure it was intended for Denzel Johnson. Carter Andy Colts had a great play on that. Came up, bumped the receiver just as he was getting the ball. It was pretty, pretty clean. They've been, uh, yeah, the Chargers defense is a step ahead of the second offense. Chargers offense is two steps ahead of the second uh, defense. Second and 10 for Saginaw. Barking out the signals. Back to pass. Throws over the middle again, picked off. Big play by that Chargers secondary again. This time it's Nick Parker. Is that, or is that number eight? I think that's eight, Owen McCaffrey, excuse me. <coughs> well done. And so, Another turnover for Saginaw. First and 10 Chargers at their own 48. Jude back to pass. Finds a man flat and corralled out of bounds after a minimal gain. Carter Coates on the reception. Okay, now. As, as I take a look at this, I'm saying, now, why? We're, we, you'll see his eyes are going to look right where he wants to throw. It's a slow wind-up, good reaction out here by Owen McCaffrey, and actually he made a good reception on he, it. He did. He jumped the route. Yep. And, uh, he made a very good reception on it. Second and seven for Dow. Handoff. More room to run. Plows ahead after the first down is Rivera. Good run by Rivera there. He's Again, good read, good cut. He's, uh, he's looking good out there. He seems to have really good vision out there and uh, weaving his way. Well, Dow can pretty much do whatever they want right now. There, and you'll see he's going to take this ball. There's a little bit of movement in here. Rivera is going to take the ball in here and then make a little move that really makes a, the play go for significant yardage. First and 10, Jude rolls to his left, looks downfield, fires, got his man. It's McCaffrey for another first down. Caffrey with eight catches, 136 yards, and three scores coming into the game. We can see other than the uh, botched extra point, there's been nothing other. It's a great play by, great act, great route run by McCaffrey. I've really liked him this year. A little shovel pass. And he's going to go to the corner of the end zone and score. It is... Carter Coates for the Dow High touchdown. So again, Dow has yet to have, have not have positive, positive yardage. This is a really good play, a little fake, 
little handoff, come around the corner, and just outrun. That was an excellent block by Garrett Daniels downfield. Good speed by Coates. And good speed by Coates. I think that's technically a passing touchdown for Jude. And Hetherington's point after attempt is good. It's three for three on the night. And with 8.16 to go in the first quarter, Dow 27, Saginaw zero. Wow. wow, pretty fast. I mean, fast. Eight minutes to go in the first quarter. Wow. You know what's really tough for Saginaw is Dow has that multifaceted offense where they're shifting and you never know what's coming. And well, when it's you, really tough for that. And when you night. play plain uh, 42 vanilla, what should I call yeah. it, 42 vanilla, mm -hmm. you just stand out there and you're saying, okay, uh, looking for this, I'm looking for that, and then you don't see anything. Next thing you know, the guy's running right <laughs> by you. And, and that's the problem right now that, that Saginaw's defensive backs they got to look at the bottom of their shoes because they're growing roots back there. <laughs> they're growing roots. Yeah. They just stand there. Yeah, this has uh, been a, uh, when you said Dow key number one, find the mojo, they yeah. found it fast. They found their mojo. They this came. Is, this is a perfect business. This tonight. is a, a perfect game that when you come off a tough loss. Another little squib kick, and it is fielded, I think, by Saginaw. He had it between yes, his legs. Yes, fell down. This was relieved that he fielded it. Donye Johnson uh, uh, recovered it. They saw, they watched the film, obviously, from last week where Midland had success with that and just knew they would struggle. Um, with those little squib kicks. If they would kick the hard squib, they'd have more trouble. You know, this is easy. I mean, you can catch those little pop-ups. Most, most of the ground, time. It's those hard ground balls <laughs> that. Trojans take over, uh, first and 10 on their own 35. I don't know if they've had, gained any yards. No, they have not. Handoff. And he's just going to go backwards, strung out. Good effort, trying to make something out of it um, was Bodiford, but it's it was. It's an awful lot of green shirts around that. Too, awful lot of green shirts. Too many green shirts. Very frustrating to run that kind of a play without blocking. I mean, it's, it's, it's. You know that we always talk about BYOB, be your own blocker. <laughs> well, at Saginaw High, that's uh, you are your own blocker because there's not much going on up front. It's As you can play. see right here already, the, the penetration by the Dow line is all over Saginaw. Jack Erickson made the tackle, but it was well strung out by the entire uh, Dow High defensive front. Second and 20. for Saginaw. Back to pass, looks like he's gonna go deep. And that ball is gonna be intercepted. He's got room to run too. Down the right sideline and finally knocked out of bounds is Carter Coates who's having a tremendous first quarter. He just threw that up for grabs. Tried to make something happen but he didn't have the arm strength exactly, to get it there. Exactly, exactly. Well, Okay, so he goes to, the ball just gets thrown up in the air. And right here we have the interception, and now we have some very good open field running. Quarterback knocked him out of bounds, but Dow is in business again at the second on 13 yard line, first and 10. Shovel pass again. He's got room to run, and he cuts back. And a nice little run by Gavin Miles. And Dow scores again. And that is a passing touchdown. Eight, well, two in a row. Yeah, I know. The last one. How about that? That's going to be uh, three passing TDs for Jude, and he only had to throw it about a yard. Yeah. 
That's good completion record. <laughs> Very good. So here we go. A little motion play here. Toss right there and then around the corner. But you got to watch the blocking downfield. Watch Mativa right off the bat, number 34. He gets the first block. And then we get blocks out there. No, you don't have to block much. You just have to, as, as I've always said, just step on their toes. So Dow goes for the two-point conversion as McCaffrey finds Brensky for the two-point conversion. And it is 35 to nothing. Still about seven minutes to go in the quarter. Brinsky is having a yes, heck he of a quarter. Wow. He's, listen, he's having oh a career. He is having a career within six minutes. Interception, long touchdown reception, yeah. two point conversion. Yeah, it's, he's having a career. He's a junior, six foot two fifteen. What does the Saginaw coach say at this point? I mean, this is. We're going to have mean, you home early tonight. That's the only thing you can say. Well, really, you're. If you're a very second player, is so discouraging. Yeah. I mean, what? Well, you. Nothing. The moment it happens. But you know, I found out last week, it was still. The game was lost. And it was in late in the third quarter. And Saginaw was still giving an effort. Yeah. I mean, I, I got to admire them. They still give an effort. But, they, you know, the, their quarterback. Throws the ball up for grabs, and their line doesn't block. Yeah. Another squib kick again. Fielded. That was a heads-up play by Dunye Johnson to field it and fall on it. So, is the running clock just for the second half? Running clock starts at the second half. When it's 35 points. Well, it has to be 35 points. The first quarter's not half over yet. It's going to be, could be super running clock, which is 50 points. If you get 50, a 50 point differential, it never stops it never for anything. Stops. Just timeouts. First and 10 Trojans. Back to pass, little pitch, and oh, nice little juke run there. Tiva hauls him down, but that, not after some positive yardage. It was a nice little run by Botiford. I thought he was dead to rights in the backfield. There's a flag on the play. Okay, so here's Mativa in here, and he's going to come out and make a pretty nice play on that. Like is on the Trojans, so the really the first positive offensive play is. Gonna, I was surprised he got through that. There was about four green jerseys waiting for him. I think that little burst surprised the defenders. But this is it's the problem. Be first and fifteen. You know, the, you uh, you make a positive play and then you have a negative. Yeah. First and 15, six and a half to go. Clock is running. Quarterback's going to keep it. He pitches behind him, and uh, he's just a dead duck. Yikes. Pitch was behind him, so he had to go back to get the ball. By the time he caught it, there, were, there was a swarm of green. All the way back to the 13 yard line. Now you see they're going to run the option here. Here's a little option play, but look, everybody's out here. And you say to yourself, well, we've got to read the unblocked person. Well, everybody's unblocked. Yeah. I think uh, 24 Botterford is a decent running back. He just has no place to run. Second and 30. Low snap. Potiphar gets away from one tackler. Still on his feet. Big gain. 
That is a heck of a run by Potiphar. <laughs> that was entirely on his own. It's a low snap on the... Low snap, poor handoff. He broke and, several and, tackles. And really some shoddy tackling on the part of Dow. He's got a burst to yeah, him. Yeah, he does, he does. He, make, he shakes off one, shakes off three or four, and then we're going to see some just diving and arm tackling. I'll give the guy credit. It's 35 nothing. Yeah, he's, he's running still, hard. And he will continue to do that. Big chunk. It picked up 15 yards on that play. So it's third and 15 for the Trojans. I think I try to do whatever I can to get 24 of the ball. Trips left for Saginaw. Back to pass, looking right. He's going deep right, and it is, oh, it would have been picked off. <laughs> he didn't know his own teammate was waiting to catch the ball. Uh, well, Jack Erickson got in, got in the way of uh, My, Miles, Gavin. Miles was yeah. going to have an interception, and uh, I, I don't think uh, Erickson broke up the pass nicely. He just didn't know he was breaking it up so for his own guy. Here's the playback in here, and we're going to see it where the ball is thrown up again for grabs. Decent protection from Saginaw. Yeah. And, but, but here's the thing. you got to want to go up and get it yourself. You can't yeah. wait for it to come down. you got to go get it. Fourth and 15, the Trojans to punt. Got it away quick. Line drive kick. Fielded at 42. Good blocking downfield. Comes from behind. Good tackle by 17 there. Return by Garrett Daniels, a senior. Big return, really. Well, see, now here we are in a situation that all coaches love. I'm gonna take the ball over inside the 40 yard line, which means four down. It's four down territory right now. First and 10 at this, their own 35. And this has been Saginaw's problem all year. They have no offense, so when they punt, right. you get the ball back, and so so good a field position, you can't stand it. And Saginaw will call their second timeout of the half with 5.05 remaining. It is 35 nothing. five minutes to go in the quarter. Folks, you can watch this. Dow High versus Saginaw High homecoming football game on the MCTV network. MCTV's channels can be found on Charter Communications cable channels 188 through 191 in Midland. You can also find MCTV under channel 99 on AT&T's UVerse. Check out MCTV's website at cityofmidland.gov backslash MCTV for playback dates and times. More dates and times to follow on MPS TV 190. You can also view this program online at the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel. Do you subscribe to the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel, Coach? No. No? You might want to check that out. Not this year. Not this year? To be honest with you, I did not know we had a YouTube channel. There I you do go. know we have uh, the access, the cable access. Oh, yeah, definitely. They do. It's a great service to our community. There's no question about it. First and 10, Chargers. Another little shovel pass with more room to run. And he's hauled down finally. Nick Parker, Jude trying to get his uh, fourth TD pass on that, sh that shovel play has worked with great efficiency Again, for the Chargers. You're playing that 42 vanilla. So the the outside defensive backs, they just back right off. Yep. Here comes here comes Parker. He's going to come around the corner and all you really need to do is get one block on the perimeter and you've got it made. Here's the toss. All right, there's the one block on the perimeter. Nice and block. second block and he comes off that block. Time. It's a handoff up the gut. I think that is uh, McCaffrey. It's hard to tell eight or nine out there. It is McCaffrey. Okay. Good eight yard gain. Second and two. 420 to go in the first quarter. Now has scored on every possession thus far. 
and quickly, I might add. Another little shovel pass. That was a nice play. And in goes Rivera for the score. That was a, that was a interesting design play. That was kind of faked the shovel and still shoveled it to the running back who just took a step forward. It's effectively a run play, well, so like all these are. Here comes Rivera. Is going to come in here. Here comes Jude. Here comes the motion, and Rivera just goes right up into the shoot. Yeah, that's nice. Etherington's point after is good. And it is 42 to nothing with 359 remaining in the first quarter. Wow. Not gonna be pretty, Dave. It's not a pretty sight. It's sad to see Saginaw. A, a proud school, but here's, there's only 570 students in, in Saginaw. Now, that puts them about the size of Bullock Creek, maybe smaller, and you know, they, they, they don't feel the freshman team, they don't feel the JV team, uh, they have 27 players on their, on their squad here, and you just gotta say to yourself, okay, maybe it's time for Saginaw to combine. I mean, Arthur Hill only has 800 students. Uh -huh. Now the bad part about this is that when you're talking about playoff points, Saginaw High has given you division five points uh -huh. and no wins. Right. So you might end up, you know, the, the point differential is sometimes so close that you end up on the on the low end sure of that yeah. point total. Heatherington, another short kickoff found. Oh, uh, I think Dow uh, crossed the line prematurely. It'll be offsides. You got to give the, the Chargers credit though, because they have played extremely well. The, they are just on all cylinders tonight. You know, Dave, they look very sharp. Yeah, this is this is not the same team I saw last week at Heritage. They look very sharp right now. Very, yeah. Even they're, though the other the, your opponent is nowhere near as good, they look sharp. Yep. They look sharp on offense and defense. Executing very very well. And like they always do, they just mix up the plays on offense. They always keep you off guard. Get trying to guess what's coming next. Hallmark of Watkins team. Fielded at the 32. Ugh, here comes a flag. Flag on the play. For behind the play, way off the play. It was again uh, Dunye Johnson on the return. Really be good field position for the Trojans. Sort this out. Personal foul against Saginaw. The last thing they needed. Uh, there was kind of a little skirmish off the ball there and only saw the flag come in late. That's gonna cost the Trojans 15 yards. It'll be first and 10. start at their own 35 yard line. Those are hard yards to come by. Very hard. Pretty much the only positive play was a 15 yard run uh, by Bottaford. But overall they must, I don't think they're a positive yardage offense because they've moved back a lot. Looks like we have a new quarterback. The snap dribbled up to the quarterback. Dow, I think they have the ball. And <laughs> they and do have the ball. Oh, another fumble and recovered by Madden Brady, number 76. The, the snap um, 
was kind of rolled up to the quarterback. And, and then he, when he, Larry Atkins is quarterback, when he tried to exchange it, I don't know if he ever, he really had possession Well, there's your the dribble right in here. And again, we have a new quarterback. Yeah, he never really, he never got the handoff. That was, that was on the center because the timing was just shot and he tried to rush the handoff to Bodiford and he just never connected. First to 10 chargers, handoff. There he goes again, he's got room to run. Wow, and he's gonna be a, a penalty. horse collar. Horse collar. I love that rule. You know, that, I, I think that's one of the, the best rules they've put in. Uh, it, it's it, a dangerous it, play. It does. It doesn't stop it from happening, but you do need to be penalized for it. Yeah. Again, this is just a beautiful handoff to Rivera. He comes in here and then makes a great run. In the Blocking's great. But see the Saginaw High <laughs> made penetration but was not under control. Although if he doesn't horse collar him, it's probably a touchdown. It is so a touchdown. In that sense, it was probably a good penalty. It was Larry Atkins who had come in at quarterback last time. But now we'll have it first and goal from the nine. Xander Brooks now in at tailback for the Chargers. He will take the handoff. Big hole, plows ahead. Good, strong run in for the score. Xander Brooks with authority. The senior running back. And Dow scores again. Beautiful. Okay, so here we have Xander Brooks. He makes a little move and watch the little quick cut. A little quick cut, got well, nice. Then he just put his shoulder down and, and buried. Wow, that was impressive. Hetherington with another extra point. And it is 48 to nothing. And we are still in the first quarter. Three minutes to go in the quarter. <laughs> Dow can do no wrong. Saginaw, just nothing going right here. Well, this score could get ugly real fast. I mean, it could be embarrassingly ugly. It could ugly. be. I don't, a, not sure it, that. It could be a 70. Yeah, yeah. It could, it could easily be. be a 70 tonight. Because. Is the 50 runoff in the second half only or in the first Again, half? the second half. Could be 70 in the first half. It could be 70 in the first half. And if you it's kind of tough for Coach Watkins. You don't want to just roll up the score, but you got your guys to play, got too. It, you guys so got it's to only play. the first quarter. Yeah, he's got to play. It's the longest first quarter ever. So coming in, uh, Coach Watkins was concerned. This week they kind of got ravaged with guys. A uh, bug went through the team, right. and there's a lot of guys not suited up tonight. Right. So not everybody's available. They've had a rash of injuries. So as a coach, when that happens, you get a bunch of injuries and illness, throws things off, what do you do? Well, coach? the first thing you do is you can only coach those that are there. Yeah. That's the first thing. And so you say to everybody on your coaching staff, we need to coach these guys up because they're gonna play. And, and that's your philosophy that you take. And you give that same philosophy to the players. Right. You're here, you're ready to play. This Next is your up. chance. Yeah. You're gonna get on film. You're going to have a chance to play a lot, especially in front of a big crowd at homecoming. Yeah. So Saginaw will take over their own 29 yard line. 317 to go in the first quarter. Wow, that's unbelievable. I don't know if I've seen anything quite like this. I've never seen anything like this. I used to pray for things like this. <laughs> Well, a lot of guys will get some action here tonight on homecoming. Low snap again. This time the handoff cuts back. 
still on his feet. Did a nice job to pick up about three or four yards. Well, he's decided that there's nothing the way the play is called, so I'm on my own. Uh, pretty much, he <laughs> pretty much is. He ran about uh, 30 yards to get well, those. Now, now I, want you think, I want you to think about this. That means the Dow defense has to really be disciplined. Yeah. The backside has to say they're going to come back. There's going to be cutbacks. There's going to be reverse type runs. So you got to be ready for that if you're on the backside. Well, and you do have to respect Potiphar's speed and quickness. Exactly. And he's elusive. He's broken some tackles here tonight. There's the pitch to Potiphar. He's going to go the other way again. Cuts up and gets about four, four or five on the play. Again, that play I think was designed left, wasn't it? Or it was designed it was left. More of a counter. He now has said, "I am not following. <laughs> going the other I'm way. going the other way." Now that's going to be dangerous for him. Yeah. Third and two for the Trojans, seeking their first first down of the game. Might be the first first down of the season, <laughs> rushing wise. You said they have minus 47 coming into the game. Probably a lot of it has to do with quarterback sacks. Exactly. And and plays that you, you know, behind the line of scrimmage. I'd give it to Potiphar again. Oh. Their wide out jumped early right and turns a third and two into a third and seven. Just cannot afford that to happen. That's just a awful penalty for the Trojans. Wide out number 88. I think the play was probably coming to him. He was anxious to get going. Really no reason to jump early there. And Botifer's going to get it. Sheds one tackle. Still fighting. Now, you know, Dave, as, as a coach, the worst penalty that you can get when when you're driving or you're doing something is for a wide out to jump. Yeah. Because he, he's only looking at the ball. Yep. Nick Again, we're going to see a lot of lot of action right in here by these Dow guys. Nick Fang, number 59, and on that tackle. So the Dow just. Now, here is the problem. 49-0 first quarter. You're dominating your opponent. You know what happens next? You get in bad habits. Yeah. You start to lose the edge. The ed exactly. You start to stand up because you can beat them without standing up. No, you can't do that. Right. You have to be able to use your technique. Line drive, punt. Fielded at 45 and good coverage Very there. Very good coverage. Nanya Johnson is all over the field on special teams for the Trojans. Returned by uh, Garrett Daniels, and Dow will take over on their own 48. Their worst field position of the night. Yeah. 55 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Day at quarterback. Rivera at tailback. Rivera's had a big game so far tonight. That shovel pass again. Braden White this time got room to run. Good blocking downfield. Finally run out of bounds. There's a flag on the play back at the 34. That was a good blocking by uh, Rivera. On the lead. Usually that means there's a block in the back. Holding. Hold. Yeah, we see the play right here. It's this little pitch. And he's going to come around the corner. We're going to see some great blocking up front right there. Oh, he, he stays with the block and stays on it. This is, again, that's a sloppy move in my mind. You know, I mean, you, you lose your edge. And that's what you, the, the yards are easy. The plays are called against the. 42 vanilla and 
you, you cannot lose your edge. You have to continue to pressure the other team, no matter what the score is. Every play is a new play. So it'll be second and second and one, a long one. After the penalty, Jude is going to keep it this time, and he's going to be short of the first down. No gain on the play. That looked like a missed play. Yeah. First two uh, chinks in the armor for the Chargers tonight. <laughs> Now here comes the, the, the pass across here. See the ball, the, okay, I, the snap was low. So the whole play got screwed up. And Dow's gonna let the clock, <coughs> excuse me, run out here on the first quarter. Quarter could not have gone much better for Dow High. I think they're gonna take Judy out, looks like. He racked up some serious pass yardage on those shovel passes. Oh on those uh, he certainly shovel did. passes. The shovel pass, the screen. <laughs> I think he threw one pass. His percentage one, is going to be very high. One legitimate pass. <laughs> he missed on the first play, pass in the first play of the game. Right. And then since then, right. I don't think he's thrown an incomplete. So the quarter ends with Dow up 49 to nothing. Folks, do you like watching your favorite high school events on MCTV? Stay tuned this fall for more games and events on MCTV Network. MCTV volunteers and staff will be televising as follows the Midland High homecoming football game, which was last week, the marching band showcase, the Midland versus Dow High football game, which we're definitely looking forward to uh, in a few weeks. The Midland Dow Volleyball Game, which is also always a thrill. And uh, you can check out MCTV on Facebook to follow us and get up-to-date information on all the programming and events on MCTV. So new quarterback in is Gavin Miles, number seven. He's a six-foot senior. You'd be probably done for the night, don't you think? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. He's going to keep it. Room to run. Cuts outside, and he's still on his feet. Great effort by Miles. Let's see. They ran that little fake pat toss, and then he just kept the ball on what I would call a cross buck play. Yeah. And uh, they made great yardage on it. Another Dow just picking up yardage in serious chunks. So, again, here comes the... Here comes the fake toss, and then the quarterback is just going to go right up in that shoot. And you see the guard and tackle pulling around and looking for people to block. Yeah. And unfortunately for Saginaw, they couldn't find anybody. There's a shovel pass again. Finds the edge. Hauled down, though, is Wyatt Hazel Hun. Good effort by Saginaw on that. Yeah. Very good effort. Second and seven. Is this oddly where Coach Watkins might have wanted a closer game to keep his guys in, the starters in longer? Because he's... You know, after only one quarter of play. Well, you see, they've kind of slowed things down. I mean, they're not throwing the ball. It just, that little forward toss is, is uh, But he's got something. a lot of guys get yes. to play. So that, there's the shovel pass again. And, oh, good spin. Staying on his feet. Nicely done. Nathan Klein. Very nice Klein. spin by Klein. It's a little scat back 5-4 senior. They may break the all-time high school record for yards gained on a shovel pass in one game. It could very well be. Again, here it is. Here comes Klein in motion. The toss is right here. Now there's – look out on here. There's only two guys out here. And nobody so all reacts. you got to do is get the corner, and now here he comes right up into that little chute. He makes a great spin. 
there it goes again to a third different receiver this time and in for the touchdown goes Christian Whitehead, number 14. Oh, there's a flag on the play though, hold on. Let's see what the call is. I feel really sorry for Christian hold. because yep. he's having such a good time on the sideline with his buddies, <laughs> and he doesn't realize he didn't what happened. So again, here we go, round the corner, and here's the problem out here. You've got holding going on, and when that happens, you're in trouble. See right there, he's got it. Yeah. That's the hold. Yep. Okay. That happens that led out to there. The touchdown. That happens. They are running you, the clock now. When you go to block, what you do is you grab their number, and then don't let go. If you, if you, if you just grab their number, you never get called. It's the moment they start to slide away from you mm -hmm. and your feet stop moving, and that's when you lose it. So first and goal from the 18. Shovel pass again, this time nicely sniffed out by the Trojans. Xavier St. John on the reception that time. I'm not sure that was a shovel pass. I think it was a poor snap, poor handling, and I'm going to throw you the ball. <laughs> yeah. That's a shovel pass. Trying to get the edge to a good speed. Gets inside the 10 is Dominic Owen. There's been a lot of recipients of that shovel pass tonight. Oh, carried by number six, Dominic Owen for the Chargers. Brought down by number 19, Larry Atkins. It's third and goal from the 10. What I like is there are a lot of guys playing. A lot. Yeah, you know, you're you're and calling and getting to run the ball. Different names, but what I like is they're doing the job. Yeah. They're different guys going in there and they're doing the job. I like the, the way the line is blocking, and it just uh, gives everybody what they're doing. They're they're doing what they're supposed to do. Miles. There's, There's a little, little, cross, little buck. cross buck handoff. And in for Touchdown. the score is Rambled. That was Caleb Brensky. Caleb Brensky. We have said his name a lot. Okay, so here's just a little handoff, a little cross buck here. He takes a little jab step. We're going to go up in there and run the play. There's, there's the crossing action. Guard and tackle. Good move. Hetherington for the point after. Kick is up and it is good. Hetherington getting a workout tonight between extra points and kickoffs. He's booted the ball a lot. Remember what I said early, your special teams are gonna have their work set for tonight. Their kickoff team, their extra point team, and their punt return team. Yeah. Your kickoff team is only going to do it once. <laughs> your kick return team? Is I mean, your kick yeah. return Yeah, your kick return team. They get one shot at it. He has had eight kickoffs. Or this will be his eighth and six extra points and i would really be surprised if the punt team has any work tonight <laughs> yeah that's true well simply because you're getting the ball back in field position right terrific 56 to nothing eight minutes to go in the first half here on homecoming evening midland community stadium okay dave now here's something now, I've watched Dow play all year, watched Witten play all year. There are guys running the football tonight that I haven't seen mm -hmm. and doing it well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're doing it well. I like that. They're getting their chance and they're shining. You know, the, somebody said to me, uh, well, Coach, what happens when you get 56 nothing? 
hey, I cannot coach the other team. Right. I can only coach my team. And I'm going to tell my team, no matter who's in there, play as hard play. as you can. Right. You, you know, play as hard as you can. Well, you, you almost owe the other team that. Yeah. Well, you owe the guy up front that's blocking for you. You, right. need, you owe the running back if you're blocking. You play as hard as you can, and hey, I'm sorry if the other team's bad. Hetherington with another kickoff. This time he goes deeper and fielded at the seven yard line. Trying to make put that ball away. Good coverage by Dow good High. Good coverage, good kick. Garrett good Daniels position. on the tackle. And uh, Dylan Moore unable to get beyond the 10 yard line. So Saginaw deep in their own territory. That was a nice kickoff by Hetherington. Well, one thing, Dave, we're going to have a lot of halftime highlights. You know. That is true. We're going to have a lot. There's a lot to choose from. There's a lot of halftime <laughs> highlights. A lot to choose from. The guys in the booth uh, are going to have their work cut out for them, uh, getting those ready. First and 10 at Saginaw. It's again uh, Atkins back at quarterback. He's going to try to keep it, and boom, he got leveled. That's a very nice tackle. Very nice tackle by Nicholas Fang. Yep. Really a good tackle. Solid. Here's Fang, number 50, the linebacker. He's going to come out and really make a good play. So they were out there, and here, he come, here comes the hit. Right? Wow, that well, no, Brooks finished yeah, him Brooks off. Brooks finished him off, yeah. Fang. Uh, good job. Second and 15. He's going to take the snap from his own goal line. Back to pass. The lefty throws it up for grabs. Almost picked off. Nick Parker. Yeah, broken up his, by Parker. Had his chance. Chance for glory. That was lobbed up there. Trayvon Laster, starter, has uh, no longer in the game. He's got a little better arm than that. Uh, so, third and 15. Get about three yards. Yeah, good effort, but yep. too many lost yards. Yep. Too many lost, lost yardage plays. Twan Hayes, the carrier that time. And Saginaw will have to punt. McCaffrey back deep to receive, as is Daniels. himself just hoping for a good snap here <laughs> just <laughs> well give the punter some kind of chance because Dow's gonna no, get it in good field position no you, matter what you can see that they're after it there's no uh, high snap good catch and it's gonna be a short kick and the ball is gonna go out of bounds at the 34 maybe the 33 for Dow so there's just over five minutes to go in uh, the second quarter. We do have running time, Coach. Clock is running. Again, we're in super, yeah. super running time. 50-0. That's a good rule. Would you say? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, 
Kevin Miles back at quarterback. He's looked very good since coming in for Jude. Shovel pass again. There's a lot of room to run. Schultz goes on the right side, still on his feet, drives ahead. And what a great effort by Caleb Schultz, the senior. He's 6'3. They got some big guys on this team. Takes it all the way to the five. And again, this is, you know, repeating. Here comes the shuffle. Here comes the play. Around the corner. Saginaw is no answer. There's the guy that has to stop it. Watch what happens to him. Nothing. He gets turned to the inside. Poor tackle there. Good run there. There's that great effort you were talking about. Same play this time to the left. Well done now, that time. Why did that get busted up? Just because the end came across, made penetration, turned the play in, and made it made an excellent defensive stop. Ball back to the eight yard line. We'll probably see some sort of counter inside now. Come across, like the run the counter. Like the touchdown? Yeah. Again, this time there's a flag in the play. False start on the Chargers. Mark back five yards. Miles coming into the game was six for seven passing, 85%. I say his percentage has gone up. Well, those are all passes. If, the, if that's the pass, yeah. Aren't they? Statistically, he's throwing it forward. Day. But right now, you'd be a great quarterback. <laughs> I in this would be. In this system, Dave, I'd be you a, are a I, star. I would be over 50% for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, different look here. All spread out. Schultz in motion. Well, the shovel pass again, this time to the right. Good seal block on the edge there. Driving ahead. What an effort. Schultz trying to get in. It's inside the five yard line. Nice block out there by Christian Whitehead on the edge, number 14. Third and goal for the Chargers from the four. Another shovel pass, and Schultz drives ahead, and he is in for the touchdown. What an effort. Good effort. All the, this every guy runs he, hard. Every time he's carried the ball. Where has he been? My goodness. He just says he will not be denied. No. Where has he been, and why isn't he playing defense? <laughs> Love that effort. Yes. I do, too. Again. Same play. Let's see what happens to this gentleman right here because these two guys, they're going to get blocked. Here it comes across. And it sucks in every time. It, it, and then he makes and no then effort. They, uh, and then he makes no effort after that. He's the kind of guy you would say, now, please, we cannot hurt this guy. We need to keep him in the ball game. Hetherington lines up for the extra point. It is up and good again. McCaffrey with the hold. 63 to nothing as the clock will wind down here on the first half. But hey, coach, like you said, when uh, you get your chance, you play hard. Get your chance, you play hard. You may not get another chance. But maybe you're you getting will. your chance, and maybe you will. Just like I said, if if somebody's sick or somebody's hurt, you have your opportunity to shine, and then you're ready. You can only coach the people that are there. And so this is a, a chance for a lot of these players. Uh, as I said, Caleb Schultz is, has been very impressive tonight. And and so have, uh, and I really like uh, Gavin Miles. Yeah. Or Miles Gavin, I think he. He's doing a heck of a job, Gavin. Yeah, Miles, yeah. 
So that's going to put an end to the first half here. <laughs> Total and utter domination by Dow High. Every, they just excelled almost on every play of this half. Offense, defense, special teams. And uh, we'll head into the locker room. The Trojans will, uh, not sure what coach says, guys, just keep playing, you know, but. Well, uh, the first thing I'd say is don't go near the bus. <laughs> don't, don't. You can't get on yet. You can't get on yet. <laughs> you got to wait. You got to wait. And so we are, again, here for the Dow High homecoming evening and festivities, and we're going to send it on down to the field. And enjoy the halftime show, folks, with the Dow High marching band and all the other homecoming festivities. Enjoy, and we will see you in the second half. This week's special homecoming halftime show with the current Charger Marching Band being joined on the field by alumni band members and the Jefferson Middle School 8th grade band directed by Mrs. Nikki Bruski. Here is some good old-fashioned rock and roll from the last century. Louis Luai. Combined bands and Dow High Pom Poms will move into this century for a hit song from the Jonas Brothers, Sucker.
Our final piece for this evening was made famous in jazz music by the Stan Kenton Orchestra. And then the Madison Scouts drum and bugle choral brought it to the marching field. Here is Malagina.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2019 H.H. H. Dow High School Homecoming, Homecoming Halftime Ceremony. It is our pleasure and honor to introduce the 2019 H.H. H. Dow High Charger Homecoming Court. Walking onto the field are the freshman class representatives and their parents from the class of 2023. Amelia Hatfield, daughter of Marcy and John Hatfield. Alex Price, daughter of Miko and Randy Price. Cole Kinney, son of Julie and Michael Kinney. And Tony Tang, son of Ying Lu and Sean Tang. Congratulations to the freshman class representatives and their families. Now representing the class of 2022, Chloe Stafford, daughter of Paula and Dave Stafford. Lucy Teed, daughter of Melissa and Paul Teed. TJ Neuenfeld, son of Jan and Tom Neuenfeld. Matthew Conley, son of Kathy and Alan Conley. Congratulations to the sophomore class representatives and their families. Next on the field are the class of 2021 representatives. Please welcome Isabel Perez, daughter of Victoria Bantau and Federico Perez, and escorted by Viola and Julian Gonzalez. Sofia Gonzalez, daughter of Cesar and Lupita Gonzalez. Jack Gavin, son of Connie and Michael Gavin. And Caden York, son of Stephanie and Michael York. Congratulations to the junior class representatives and their families. The Dow High King, a queen and king, will be selected from the following senior class representatives. Ruth Pasek is the daughter of Angela and Dave Pasek. Ruth is active in DHS student leadership, is the student council secretary, a member of the National Honor Society, and participates on the Dow High tennis team. Ruth hopes to start a nonprofit to help and encourage families affected by childhood cancer. Lillian Presnell Manso is the daughter of Alicia and Matt Manso. Lillian is a captain on the varsity golf team, the editor-in-chief of The Update, president of Sad Save Club, and president of the Model UN, as well as a singer-songwriter. Lillian plans on studying German and communications abroad. <laughs> Isabella Rhee Isabella is the daughter of Karen and Hio Rhee. Isabella is a member of the National Honor Society, is a senior drum major, member of the Jazz Band One, Symphonic Orchestra, is the varsity cross-country captain, varsity track captain, active in youth ministry, and is a member of the DHS announcement team. Isabella plans on studying computer science or engineering in college. <laughs> Sean Anderson is the son of Rachel and Steve Anderson. Sean is a drum major for, of the marching band, plays on the varsity soccer team, is a member of Key Club and National Honor Society, lead trumpet in Jazz One, plays tenor saxophone in Jazz Two, and plays the trumpet in orchestra. Sean's future plans include studying aerospace engineering. <laughs> Liam McLeod is the son of Karine and Patrick McLeod. Liam is the clarinet section leader in the marching band, is an IB diploma candidate, takes French lessons, enjoys ice skating, and participates in the musical. Liam plans to study international relations and diplomacy in London, England. <laughs> Jared Poliski is the son of Jamie and Beth Poliski. Jared is a member of the varsity soccer team, section leader of Drumline, a member of National Honor Society, a board member of Lunch Club, a bike mechanic. Jared has hopes to attend Michigan School of Kinesiology and pursue his interest in the field of medicine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen our, class our class of 2019, 2019 senior class, homecoming representatives. 
<clears throat> Last year's homecoming queen, Allie Jaster, is back to crown our new queen this year. Allie is a freshman at Central Michigan University, where she is in the honors program majoring in psychology and pursuing a pre-PA path. She hopes of working as a psych psychiatric physician's assistant in the future. Last year's homecoming king, Michael Erickson, is unable to return from West Point to crown our king. Michael wishes he could attend, but sends his, this message. Congratulations to all members of the court. It is an honor to be chosen by your classmates to represent Dow High. Continue to be humble leaders of your class and be proud to represent them. Congratulations and go Dow High. And now, ladies, now, and, ladies gentlemen, and gentlemen, the Dow High School Class of 2019 Homecoming King is Sean Anderson. Anderson. <laughs> Mr. Ted Davis, Ted principal Davis of Dow High School, Davis is presenting the crown and the charger bolt to our homecoming king. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies gentlemen, the Dow, the Dow High, School High School Class of 2019 <laughs> Homecoming Queen is Isabella Reed. Isabella Reed. A bouquet of yellow roses and a tiara are being presented to the H.H. Dow Homecoming Queen on behalf of the Dow High student body and staff by Allie Jaster. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you this year's Dow High School Homecoming Court. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as the court leaves the field, please stand for the Charger fight song performed by the Dow High School Charger Marching Band. marching band. And welcome back for the second half of today's uh, homecoming football game. Great job by the Dauhai marching band and congratulations to the homecoming court, and to homecoming king Sean Anderson and Queen Isabella Reed. And so we will about to commence the second half of action here. And um, before we get going here, we'll take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. And uh, there were plenty of highlights, Coach. Well, here you are at 63 points, I'd say so. The guy running the flag here in our picture. He must be exhausted. He, he's, he's tired. That's a heavy flag. Dude. So here's the first play. A little option pitch to Rivera. Great blocks out on the corner. Consistent blocking. And then Rivera does a beautiful job of working his way back and forth. Good job. So here goes the block punt. Outstanding job by Caleb Schultz. Now, now remember, Caleb Schultz is going to be later on in the game. Yeah. But this is, that's a fantastic job right there. And then a great run right there into the touchdown by Rivera again. So
So he scored two touchdowns. And here is the fumble recovery. It just never fielded it cleanly. And, and this is a little uh, tunnel pass, tunnel, tunnel screen to Garrett Daniels, and there is nobody around. Very nice play. Here comes a, we're gonna throw the ball up in the air and we get an excellent interception right there by McCaffrey. Here comes the, the pitch we're gonna see the whole rest of the game, and that is that little speed yeah. toss, and we get excellent run there by Carter Colts. Again, we're gonna throw a bomb high, and this is just throwing it up in the air. Get. Coach again, he had a yeah. big first quarter. He had, well, there were a lot of first quarter stars. <laughs> and this is uh, Gavin Miles running it into the end zone, nice play. And there's a little reverse off of that pitch inside. That's a very nice, well-designed play. Rivera again scores his third touchdown. And this is a fumble recovery, and, and Dow was very opportunistic in, in doing that. And this is uh, Xander Brooks running into the end zone for a touchdown. Here's that same little counter play the other way with uh, Judah, or, uh, Caleb Brensky running it in. And this is Schultz running it in for another touchdown. And we got 63 points. Yeah, Schultz uh, made a splash early in that half and at the end. And uh, just really impressed with his effort. Really great effort on the part of uh, how high offensively, defensively, and special teams. Like you had said on those keys of the game. Get your mojo back, and they certainly exactly. did that. Exactly. Take a review of those, which you always bring up in the beginning of the game, and see uh, how, see how the teams are doing. Yeah. See how we did. Okay, Dow, find your mojo. They only found Check. their mojo, but they found JoJo <laughs> along with Mojo. It was unbelievable. Score 63 points. They shut down every big yeah. chance that Saginaw had any bombs, and they were very solid yeah. on the special teams. Saginaw High still is fighting for positive yardage. I would probably say they are not playing aggressive defense. No. They're playing stand up and they've been unable to reduce their turnovers no. and penalties. Now, if they were to do any of those three, they would be in a, uh, you know, a, a competitive game. Yeah, might not be. This is what's hurting flag. them. Yeah. The lack of having a, a competitive game. So we will start the second half with uh, Hayden Hetherington, number 10, the left-footed kicker. Will never see as much action in a football game as he is tonight, I don't think. Fielded at the 12. A little room to run, but sniffed out nicely by the kick return unit from Dow. Now this is, this is what's sad, I watched Saginaw's uh, kick return team, not a single block was thrown. So, I mean, so you're running down, you know, unmolested. Returned by uh, Donnie Johnson, who's probably kind of one of their bright spots. He's made some special teams yes, plays, at least. He has. You know, he, he's shown a lot of great effort out there. First and 10 for the Trojans on their own 25 yard line. And a quarter back. We're going back to Trayvon Laster, who started the game, played the first quarter. Handoff, little room to run. And one of the better gains of the night for the Trojans, that's Antoine Hayes on the carry. By number 23. Okay, what cannot happen is right here, you're going to see an arm tackle. Now, even though the game's 63 nothing, every play is a new play. So we see right here, and there, see what I mean by an arm, grab a shirt kind of tackle. And see, that? that's the kind of thing right there that you're working hard on as a coach. And, and not to be critical, but to be constructive. You cannot... You got to move your feet, get your feet in front of the ball carrier. Because that next week that could cost exactly, you. exactly. Second and two, 
Yeah, quarterback is just sniffed out. He's going to try to make something out of it, but man, a second and short, <laughs> play just blows up. There was just no blocking at all. Quarterback had no chance. There was a charger in his grill the minute he stepped. He caught the snap. Third and 10. One thing Saginaw has, we'll take another look at this one, Coach, on the replay. Well, it's a missed handoff. Nope. And then no block at all. No there block was Aiden Hunt was in on it immediately. But again, a grabbing tackle. Time the run play is sniffed out. Nice job by the charge of defense. Number 40. Well, the thing I like Dawson the most about it. Baker, let the All right, charge. so your second and third team defense is out there, and they did a credible job. No gain, fourth down, three and outs. Yep. That's all you can ask. Yep. And you're, they're getting such valuable playing experience, and more important, they're getting on film. <laughs> right. I mean, so you can coach them on film. McCaffrey, number eight, and Daniels, 32, back deep to receive the punt. Bad snap. Nice catch by the punter. Low line drive again. It's going to take a Saginaw bounce. There's some of that. I always think of that just hidden yardage. Exactly. You know, that, that you talk about where that's 10 well, yards. Well, the return man gave up on the ball too fast. He just saw it hit and got away from it. it just stay with it. Field every punt. That's the rule. Field every punt. So Miles will be back at quarterback. We'll see if they continue to go with that shovel pass. So it seems like they ran about 80% of the time the first half. Here it comes again. There it comes again. It's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. All start on the Chargers. It's kind of like I was just saying, until you show you can stop exactly. this, we're just going to run it. And number four, the defensive end from Saginaw, should start Learn. to recognize the fact that he can't go inside, right. and when he goes inside all the time, yeah. he just gets washed right, right to the middle, and that's it. First and 15. Shovel pass again, exact same play before the penalty. That time, a nice job by the Trojans. It's uh, Antoine Hayes there. Picked up a good game last time on offense. Great tackle. Very good play. Maybe picked up a yard or two. That's it. Being bring up third and long. Or sec second, and second and 13. Miles is a guy getting a lot of really valuable experience. There exactly, he needs it too. This is more, might be a handoff that time. Wow, that was nothing doing. No chance at all for Christian Whitehead there. By number 14, Christian Whitehead for the Chargers. Brought down by number five. Well, there are, there's no blocking here. I mean, remember we talked about the blocking that is out here on the perimeter and the we have a block in the back, and then we just let him go. Third and 22. Don't better get moving on this play here. It's taking a long time to get, uh, get the play called in. Let's see if Miles tries to throw downfield here. Oh, quick handoff. St. John's trying to find some room, but snuffed out by the Trojans after about a 10-yard pickup. 
Xavier St. John. Being up fourth down, coach didn't think Chargers would have to punt. I still don't think they will. Fourth and 12. I don't, think they're gonna punt. I don't think they're going to punt. Jude's the punter. He is not in the game. No, they're not going to punt. Well, oh, they're going to have a quick kick. Miles. Oh, that is That's really good. well it's done. Gonna get, yep. Well done. Oh, wow. That was well done. Yep. Saginaw so just did not sniff that out at all. And uh, nice punt by Miles. Got the big roll. Pretty clever. Yeah. It's not something I would have shown at 63 zip. Yeah. I think I might have saved it. But. It's first and 10 for the Trojans on their 16 yard line. So Saginaw takes over at their own 16. They really this had one play where they had that 15 yard run. And this is the longest that was gone without a score. <laughs> yeah. That's true. The first time they did not score out of possession. Snap, handoff, bounces off, would be tackler. Good speed on the edge. And uh, Antoine Hayes with a nice run. And they will move the chains. I think that's their first first down of the evening. Dominic Owen on the stop. Good run here by Saginaw. They get some solid blocking off the corner. You can see right there, and then he makes a great backward move and allows everybody to get in there. And really a nice little block by Dominic, a nice tackle by Dominic Owen. First and 10, Saginaw. I think that's the first first down of the game, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think I'd just give it to him. Pitch left, and he's going to squirt ahead for about three. So the pitch was had him so he catch Ball it running forward instead of having to go back and retrieve it. One thing, uh, Saginaw, they take a long time at the line of scrimmage to snap the ball. Exactly. And, you and wonder it's kind of conducive for penalties, isn't it? It, it is very much. Your your well, I don't linemen understand. and receivers, and you're not, you're not really reading the defense. You're not reading, right. And you're, just, you're not going to draw anybody off. You're just running a play. It just seems like you're asking your likelihood of a lineman jumping or something increases. Down to two. Saying I was going to call a timeout. See, like right there. It's Takes forever. Well, they were forever in the huddle, and then they're forever at the line of scrimmage. I love, and if, if our guys can get a shot of the end zone shot clock, not shot clock, but timer, yeah. they're brand new. Yeah. And it's a new high school yeah. rule, the, the play clock. Yeah. And these, this is the first time we've had them. The at the stadium, okay. there they are right there. Yeah, I love this because they're both the ends, and school. the quarterback I'm is able to see. In no the past, charging. you would look for the for the back judge right, to uh, raise his hand, right, and, then and that would it. tell you that you know you're you're five seconds away from disaster. Here, you look down, you know exactly how much time you need, and I think that's that's a we have those, wonderful addition. The same to the play stadium. clocks at Northwood, where it's they're uh, portables, so you could use them on a practice at, field somewhere else. And they're very vivid, uh, very you know easy to pick up for the quarterback. Well, I think they're a wonderful addition. Second and seven for the Trojans. Okay, they're going to try. They're going to try the, it. The jet sweep. 
Not quite as much success no. as Dow's had. But Dylan Moore will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. He doesn't get a pass for that, though. He just no, he handed, he handed that one it off. off. He's got to well, be smarter than that. Number two, Dylan Moore. He shovel passes Locked it. He gets some passing four, stats out of it. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. With that running time is significantly faster than the first quarter. <laughs> no question. And so score remains Dow at 63, Saginaw 0. The coverage of this HH Dow High football game is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, sign up for our new MCTV producer workshop. You will learn how to be a producer, create a studio program, use professional cameras, and edit your video using Final Cut Pro editing software. Also learn how to, your creation can be made into a podcast or a video on YouTube. Cost is just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. Call 837-3474 to sign up. You can see that number on your screen right there, along with the times of the workshop. And you can learn more about MCTV at www.cityofmidlandmi.gov backslash MCTV or follow us on Facebook. And so it will be third and seven for Saginaw to start the quarter. I don't think Saginaw has penetrated Dow half of the field this game either. No. Just really have not mustered anything on offense. And Saginaw still looking for the first points of the season. So they're going back to number 19, Atkins at quarterback. They must seem like they're rotating him per quarter. Atkins is going to keep it. Look to the right. Tries to cut up. And he's swarmed under. You know, I like the effort of the second team defense. They ran to the ball. There's a lot of green shirts around the ball carrier. The big guy is in there, 6'5", uh, Charlie Huckins, 6'5", 3'10", and he was involved in yeah. wrapping up the, the ball carrier. I love that. And honestly, you know, you got to give Saginaw players out there some credit I mean it's nothing has gone right but you know they're out there still uh, giving it their all and uh, you know Atkins just put his head down and tried to drive for extra yards okay it's fourth and nine they're going for it fourth and seven back to pass rolls to his left surveys Runs up field, cuts to his right, and he's hauled down, but he's going to pick up the first down. First that was down. a good read by Mary Atkins. Mary Very good. For the Trojan, down by Instead of just uh, heaving it up, forcing it, he saw Trojan. some green in front of him and picked Trojan up first down, the first down yardage. Okay, so here he is. He's going to come out, make a move. Dow gets swept in here, and now he's able to come up and make a play. You see what happened. 21 went to the inside. Major mistake. Cannot go to the inside if you have the contain. First down, Saginaw. They're on 44 yard line. Slow snap, Atkins looking for room to run, but nothing doing, just swarmed under. Trent Nitcher, number 64, leads the charge on the tackle. And the quarterback at that point said, okay, that's a good play for me to run. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> well, that time, 21. Um, Second and nine for the Trojans on their Xander Brooks Xander stayed Brooks home and, and made a good play. Second and nine. What was your most memorable homecoming game as a coach? Oh man. Throwing that, throwing you a curve here. But. Traverse City. Yeah. 
Traverse City Center. When, when Traverse City was Traverse City, only Traverse City. Pitch to the right, good stutter step. Still trying to make something happen. He's just going backwards is Hayes. That's too bad. That's good effort trying to evade everybody, but great effort on the part of the Dow defense to get in there. To tell you the truth, Dow's defense has impressed me. Man. They've been relentless. They have been. They've been relentless. It doesn't matter who's and out they've there. They've run to the ball. Regardless of who's out there on the field. Now, exactly. This is a, a complete, and uh, they're not playing the same type of ball club. They played last week against Heritage. But this is a different Dow football team tonight. This is nothing like what I saw last week. I've got to commend the coaches for getting it back in line again. Remember what I said in my first key? Regain your mojo. Yep. Third and 21. Back to pass. He's going deep. And it almost picked off. Whitehead hit the shot at it but unable to corral it. Bring up fourth and 21. Yes, he had a great shot. Why was the Traverse City game so memorable? Well, we were ranked one in, in the Division Two, and they were ranked one in Division One. So it was a big game. You know. They won. They won, but it was a oh. big game. So here he goes back to pass. A little bit of pressure. And watch what happens right here. Just don't catch it. Second off back to punt. Jumped. Got me a flag. Let it go. Ball is received at 38 by Owen. Down the sideline. Nice return. That is one of the few kicks that Dow has returned this year on punts. Is that right? They just do not catch punts. And that was an excellent return. So put the ball right back where Saginaw had. Now watch what happens here. This is a uh, first off, it's a ridiculously slow kick and with minimal amount of coverage. But watch this. We give a little inside move and there we now turn on the Jets and run down the yeah. sideline and get significant yardage. Down that going. is hidden yardage in football. Yeah, yeah. Fake the shovel pass, handoff to St. John. He fumbles the ball. It's on the turf. And Saginaw Sagan recovers. Probably the first positive thing for them tonight. St. John tried to Trojan make it get by number 12, uh, cut Cooper back, get a little extra yardage, and it got popped loose. It's a little uh, fake toss draw. Yard line. And you see it right in here. It's a fake toss, and the draw goes up in here. He makes good yardage. All right, he sees it opening. That's great. He's going to make a good cut. That's a good cut. But secure the football. Cameron Williams got his big mitt down there. And Secure the football. Knocked it loose. And is that time out by Saginaw. By the way, Coach, uh, congratulations in order for making the Midland High Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. Much deserved, Thank for you sure. Very much. I had a wonderful 16 years in Midland High. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of success. Fantastic. Both baseball and football. Years at both schools, and I it was a wonderful evening, and I took, thoroughly enjoyed it. I saw, got to see many old friends, and uh, just it was great. They, they also inducted my All-State pitcher Ricky Lapine. Oh yeah, right. And yep. It was good to see him after. All these years. You've seen him since then? Yeah. Yeah, that was memorable. Middle High won the state title in 82. And uh, memorable about that is that he could only get so many outs as a pitcher. Right. And Ricky was the best. So you'd uh, 
put him in the outfield, and then Bring him if in they threaten, he come out. in to get an get out. Get one out, get two out. Just maximize his outs through the whole championship game. It was, uh, we it was uh, brilliant. One, one out short, and I had to bring <laughs> back the starter to, with the bases loaded. Four minutes to go here in the ball game. Oh, bad snap. Going to try to make something out of nothing. It's about as good as he was going to do. Really had no chance on there to last her. It's like he might be shaken up. That's too bad. He didn't want to see that. This is one of the things that does stop the clock. Even, oh, in, yeah. even in a super clock. Yeah. Ah, it's too bad. When you mentioned that uh, Traverse City homecoming game, it remind me one thing I always has stuck with me for a long time. Remember uh, Midland High played the great Flint Southwestern team, and it was an epic game, and Flint Southwestern won. Might have been overtime. In overtime. Sure. And later... Everybody said, well, everybody said that was a great game. He said it was an exciting game. <laughs> it's not a great game no. when you lose. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> and that's I've I, always remembered that. My, my comment is always schedule somebody you can beat on homecoming. <laughs> Was that a homecoming yeah. game? Uh, it could have been. That's a, that was a pretty good uh, Flint Southwestern back in that day. Gary, uh, it Gary <coughs> Bell, uh, quarterback they had. Booker Booker Moore went and played running back at Penn State. It was the running back for Flint Southwestern. Then. I still remember. <laughs> Uh, Booker Moore, number 24. Booker yeah, Moore. exactly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because uh, that's all the announcer would announce. <laughs> 24, Booker Moore. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, they're going to help uh, help Laster off. Boy, it does not look good for him, unfortunately. He's just really giving his all here tonight. The team just uh, overmatched for sure. The young man is okay. The big Dow High homecoming crowd showing great sportsmanship and cheering him on. So 3.43 to go. Said we were even during the second quarter into super running time, which means it just really never stops except for injury. Didn't stop for a score either, did it? I still think it stops for a timeout. For a timeout, yeah. okay. Yeah, if you time call out. timeout, yeah. Timeout and uh, injuries. Yeah. Direct, direct snap. snap. That was on it. Daniel Beautiful Blair. play. That was on it. Good idea. Good play call, really. I mean, to try to throw him off, but Dow well, just snipped it right out. Six, Daniel Blair for the Trojan. Brought down by number Third seven, and six, 11. Brady, and number four. Nathan Klein for the Chargers. Got to bring up third down. Nine, Nick Fangs had a good game tonight. Trent Nitcher, 64 on the defensive front. Madden Brady, number 76, also in D-line. Back to pass. Under pressure, he finds room to run. Tries to cut up. Nicely done. Hauled down from behind. That was Nathan Klein. Again, good effort. 
good effort by Klein to get there. That was a nice tackle. He uh, could have had some room to run, but uh, relentless pursuit by Klein. Well, are they going to punt or not? Now, my thought is I'd go back and throw the ball. And if it's intercepted. It's like a punt anyway. It's like a punt. And if it's run, you know, if not, if I punt the ball last time, they ran it back to the same spot anyway, that I punted it from. Yeah. I mean, you have nothing to lose with a minute and 50 in the clock. They have really not Matter been able fact, to get it to any I receivers. doubt if they're going to get this snap off. You do have a timeout left. You're going to have to time. use it. Yep, yeah, I'll use it. The clock is still running. Oh, there they stopped it. Timeout called by the Trojan. No, they're running the clock. Hmm. Not a timeout. I thought timeout. No, they stopped it again. I, no. What's the point of a timeout? I would say they're going to reset the clock. They're not calling up to stop it. Wow. Must just be on an injury then. Well, Saginaw. Fourth and eight here. See if they can come up with a big play. We got some tall receivers out here. And now Dow calls timeout. So, so Dow can call timeout and just run the clock out. And prevent the second hour from running the play. <laughs> and that's going to do it, folks. Oh, my goodness. That's going to do it. And so, uh, total. An utter domination here tonight. Well, it was over in the first quarter. I mean, that's that was the domination part. Yeah. That was an amazing first quarter by Dow High. It was about 49, yeah. nothing oh, halfway exactly. through the quarter. And you're saying there's no hope. You know, Saginaw High, to their credit, hung in there. They tried hard all the way through the game, and that that's all you can ask. I mean, you're just, they make too many oh, man. mistakes, yeah. and they, uh, Really, their play calling is uh, is very questionable as to what they, but they're limited by what they can do. Yeah. The quarterback they can't have throw. A strong arm. Yeah. And their line doesn't block. It's not a good combo. And so we're going to take a look at tonight's highlights here. And like we said before, there were plenty of highlights, most from the first half, really. But we'll take a look at them. As we mentioned before, the flag carrier. He's going to be sore tomorrow. So here is the first play of the game. Option pitch. Rivera comes down. Good blocking downfield. Mativa's in the move. And what's a, a great cut by Rivera to get in the end zone. He had quite a first quarter. That was quarter. a nice run, yeah. So here comes the punt block by Schultz. Caleb Schultz. Not only did he punt the, did he uh, block the punt, but he recovered the fumble or the punt yeah. and went in the end zone. That's a good move there again by Rivera. Nice. I like the cut. That's what I like. And here's the fumble that is recovered by Dow in the on the kickoff. And here's that little tunnel screen to Garrett Daniels. He makes a great run through and and, wow, and Garrett Daniels does know where the end zone is. There's nobody out there. No. And here comes an interception, beautiful interception by McCaffrey. As he's going to the ground, he catches the ball. Now here's that little toss that we saw all night long. And it was very successful running it to the right. That was Caleb Colts there. And here you go. We're going to have another interception by McCaffrey right here. No, that's uh, that's uh, Colts. Colts again. And here's the little toss. Gavin Miles running in the end zone.
That's a little counter play to Rivera. Yeah, that's a nice play. And here's a, another fumble recovery on a on a just a terrible snap. And watch this little cut hit and cut. I mean, <laughs> hammer time. He just went in there. Hammer. Xander Brooks went in there and did the job. And there's another touchdown by Caleb Bretzky, which is great. And this is this is again uh, Caleb Schultz getting into the end zone with tremendous effort. Yeah, that was that was an impressive now, run. Now, now here's what's impressive. There were guys tonight that played football that I have not seen all year. There are guys tonight, and I like that. Right. I mean, I, if I'm a football coach, I like that. And I would say to some of my starters, you're in trouble. Yeah. Because guys look pretty good tonight. You better come you, to you play better and practice come, this yeah, week. Yeah, you better bring your big boy pants on Monday. Yeah, right. Because your, your, your job might be in jeopardy. Because there's some guys here. Caleb Schultz. Yeah. I mean, I, I loved everything he did tonight. Yeah, absolutely. He, to me, he won a job. And and I loved uh, uh, a couple of the other guys. I loved Xavier St. John at linebacker. I loved, uh, uh, of course, I think Mativa is the best football player going. Uh, everything he does, I like. He's, he's just a leader out there. So, next week. Well. Uh, Dow plays. Uh, well, we're not we're not back here till the Dow Midland game. Right, right. So Dow, Dow plays uh, Western next week. Western, okay. And that should be a win. And then Dow plays Mount Pleasant. That'll be a good ball game, and that will be here. And then Dow plays Midland at the end. Great. So they need a strong finish here. Dow evens a record at three and three, and uh, two and two in the Saginaw Valley League. Saginaw drops to zero and six overall and again the the chargers pitching the shutout 63 to nothing against the trojans and uh, they will look forward to another big outing next week against bay city western then tough finish but dow still will be surging to try to make the playoffs and so Again, Coach, uh, enjoyable doing the game with you. Thanks to all the crew. Great job. Great job uh, great tonight, camera guys. Work, great, great camera work. Great replay work, work uh, down in the booth. Um, thanks to our MCTV volunteers for, uh, for all you do for our community. We appreciate that. And so we're going to wrap it up here. Again, your final score, Dow High 63, Saginaw High 0. Homecoming victory for the Chargers. And great job again with the Charger Marching Band and everything involved with uh, the festivity tonight. Congratulations, Chargers. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.